Okay, go. So I did the uh, trainings in the Industrial Revolution of the United States of America. With the invention of the heavy steam locomotive, progress could be moved faster and in greater quantities, while being cheaper than the other competitive methods. The, rail, the network of rails greatly improved the reach of companies spreading out west and into rural regions. They could be used as commuter trains or just heavy industrial moving stuff. They could just move tons and tons of coal with uh, being much cheaper than by road. And here you can see an early adaptation of a uh, above ground uh, subway. Transporting material goods from uh, rural mines to factories was next to near impossible before the locomotive arrived. Small mounts were moved by wagon or by boat. With the advent of railroads in the steam locomotive, locomotive gave way to new feats of industry. Uh, being able to transport more product allowed for small industries to, and allow for small industries to be to grow into large corporations. Europe was the first to see the invention of the steam locomotive and their industry boomed. With, but America didn't adopt the train until 1830. Tom Thumb was the first locomotive built by Americans and it was tested in Baltimore from, it would have to go from Baltimore to New York. It was a 17 mile journey, took less than an hour. Impressed by the potential, large businesses invested. By 1840, a small web of tracks spread across New England and eastern United States. Ten years later, tracks were all across eastern America with an impressive 9,000 miles of track. And here you can see them uh, building it. It's, it was a long and tedious process, but it would require, and it required hundreds of thousands of workers, but it eventually got done. By 1869, the first transcontinental railway link was christened with the Golden Railroad Strike. People could now cr travel across from Maine to all the way out to Washington State. However, a new problem arrived, uh, occurred. Keeping track of what time it was became a major issue. Scheduling time uh, became near impossible. Train conductors had to reset their clock watches depending on what region of the United States they happened to be in. Crashes, became, uh, crashes with, uh, between trains became more common and more frequent because of uh, if you're gonna, because the train conductors simply couldn't keep track of what time it was. So they adopted the national uh, time zone standard, which made it much easier for uh, train conductors to coordinate their efforts. <coughs> by the end of uh, by the end of the 19th century, they, the the network of rails that started 50 years ago became the lifeblood of the United States. Without it, it simply could not function. Not only did railroads offer massive opportunity investment, it created thousands of jobs. Laying down track was a long and tedious task. By 1880, there were 400,000 people employed to build the nation's railroads. That was 2.5% of the entire workforce back then. With the, de with the demand for uh, work condition conditions declining, in 1877, there was a massive strike sparked by poor working conditions and very low wages. Strikers destroyed trains and cargo. By the end of the strike, $40 million of product were destroyed. Here is a, uh, here's one of the famous pictures of a, a train loaded up with industrial goods just burned to the ground with a, uh, the station burned around it. Uh -huh. Moving out west was vastly improved with the train. Instead of investing hundreds of dollars for a train wagon, you could simply buy a train ticket. Most were around $6 back then. Here you see a picture of one of the first, um, one of the first tra trains going from um, uh, Omaha to out west, and that uh, says 246 miles from Omaha. Trains allowed for cattle to be moved out west as well, 
to the grasslands. After the uh, the bison were near the wiped out, it was a it was a a great opportunity to move cattle out west where there was massive amounts of land with um, nutritious grass. Cattle were brought from Texas to Chicago. Although trains may have been fast and cheap, that did not mean they were safe. If not properly maintained, they could explode. And eventually, some, uh, some if the, uh, the bridges were not also maintained, they could also fall apart and uh, cause lots of damage because they weighed over hundreds of tons. And another thing, another aspect was robbers. Train robbers could easily come up with a horse uh, by horseback and take a train by hostage and take all the valuable goods. And um, train train collisions also were a problem. And I don't exactly know how that happened, but <laughs> somehow it did. I, that is my presentation. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.